In spite of continuing protests by anti-Yangwak demonstrators, July's general elections will go ahead. So, so there's no, no question about whether we want, to, we want reforms or not. We, we, we would want that. But uh, we cannot stop the election. That's against the law. Uh, what we can do, we can do that in parallel. Uh, we have the election first and then do the reform. Now, the demonstrators want reform first. Their goal is to guarantee Ying Luck and her party won't be able to compete in the voting. They want her banned from politics, even though she still has the support of a majority of Thai voters. China has told ASEAN to butt out of its territorial dispute with Vietnam in the South China Sea. The facts prove that Vietnam's attempt to rope in other parties and put pressure on China will not succeed. The territorial dispute is over the presence of this oil rig in the water claimed by China. Vietnam says the rigs inside its territorial waters. The two countries' Coast Guard ships have harassed each other. A Chinese boat was videographed ramming a Vietnamese vessel last week. Over the weekend, ASEAN showed rare unanimity in issuing a statement calling for a peaceful resolution to the standoff. But it refused to say whose territorial claim it supports. Voting in India's national elections ends today. Polls forecast a victory for Narendra Modi and the Bharatiya Janata Party, or BJP. The elections lasted five weeks and set a new voter turnout record at just over 66 percent, more than 550 million voters. The question now is whether or not Modi and BJP can secure enough seats in parliament to form a stable government. Hi, I'm Tui Vu, the host of Link Asia. Catch Link Asia every Friday on Link TV, 9.30 p.m. Eastern, 6.30 p.m. Pacific. Check our website for local listings on KCET Los Angeles and PBS's The World Channel.